Hi, this is just a short video uh, to talk about um, how you can make a more efficient uh, antenna for one of these handhelds. This is a Beofeng UV82, but the same information would apply to any handheld radio for 2 meters and 70 centimeters. So the antenna that comes with it is actually not too bad. Um, I've compared this to the Nagoya 771 or a clone of it which was sold by Waters and Stanton um, and it, it wasn't any better than the built-in aerial. So I wanted to produce a better um, system for it. Didn't want to spend a lot of money so I decided to go for a quarter wave antenna and I sent off to China for one of these. Now these aerials are designed for scanners and putting on oscilloscopes and test equipment, that type of thing. It has, as you will see, a BNC plug on one end and a telescopic whip, which is in total 76 centimetres long. Now, that is obviously not the right length for 2 metres or 70 centimetres. Um, if you look up a book or do the calculation, the correct length for 70 centimetres is supposed to be 19 inches, sorry, for 2 metres is supposed to be 19 inches, or round about 49 centimetres. Um, that usually refers to the US band allocation, so that's 146 megahertz band centre. Um, but in practice, uh, on top of a handheld, that doesn't work because there is an insufficient ground plane. So the normal calculation that people do is to add an additional 5%. Uh, if you remember from uh, doing your radio exams, probably you had to calculate the length of a dipole and you had to take 5% off for end effect. Well, you've actually got the opposite of that with a the handheld. There's all sorts of weird capacitance issues going on on the Earth's side. So they recommend, um, or it's generally accepted, that you'd want to add 5%. So for 145 megahertz, which is the middle of the UK allocation on 2 metres, you want around about 55 or 56 centimetres. Um, now, it's not just me who is saying this. Um, I mean, I did tests years ago um, by putting uh, an SWR meter actually physically attached to the top of a 2 metre handheld with the antenna coming out of it and trying different lengths as being the best way to analyse this. Um, back in the 1980s, Kenwood made a handheld, I think it was called the TH21, it was absolutely tiny, I had one of them, it had thumb wheel switches and as part of the accessory pack that they sold for that, they, they did something which they called a 3 8 antenna, which was about 56 centimetres long, it was anodized or some sort of chemical process to make it black coloured and it had a clip on it like a pen so you could put it in your pocket, it was a very nice thing. Um, so they had obviously come to the same conclusion that you need a bit of extra length on the antenna. To, now this is purely to make it match, it doesn't think it actually affects the efficiency of it. But um, anyway, um, I've done this before with one of these, well with a telescopic antenna, I actually uh, fitted one into a BNC plug once myself. Um, but getting it the right length, obviously, when you pull it up is the problem. Now, in the past, I've had two ways of doing that. The first way was to take some of the sections, bunch them together, and use a piece of special heat shrink sleeving that has got um, adhesive on the inside to bind them together, so that as you pull it up, you just get the correct length. The other way to do it is to get the, the bit where you want the length to be noted, and take a junior hacksaw and just run around that line once you've got it to the correct length uh, which ta to take the chrome off the antenna and you will actually feel that as you extend it there will be like a little mark that you can feel so uh, that's another way of doing it however when I started working on this one I realised or discovered that uh, with the top two sections down the length was exactly 
55 and a half to 56 centimeters long. So in this case, all I have to do is put the antenna up and then close the top two sections and it will be pretty much resonant on 70 centi on two meters. Now, I have tried this on the handheld. Um, there's not a lot of two meter activity where I live, but I can hear one repeater. It was not audible um, here in the kitchen on the inbuilt antenna. With this attached, it was actually quite strong. Now, just to explain, you cannot attach this BNC plug to the top of your handheld. You need one of these. Uh, this is um, SMA female to BNC adapter. Uh, that cost me from China delivered, I think it was 99p. I don't actually know how that's possible. Um, and obviously they take a wee bit of time to come. But there you go. So um, that fits on there. And then you take the antenna off. You get it screwed in, and uh, off you go. Channel mode. Um, I'll see if I can raise that repeater. Oh yeah, it's, it's coming up, that's pretty good. There's a bit of electrical interference in here. But it is bringing it up. Now I've got to say, there's no way that would have worked with the other antenna. So, um, you can obviously put it in your pocket like that. It's not going to receive too well, that is the downside of this. Now, for 70 centimetre operation, there's something quite interesting going on here. Because the quarter wave on 2 metres is a 3 quarter wave on 70 centimetres. So it will actually be a reasonable match on 70 centimetres at that full length. Um, so when you have it the full length, it will actually work on 70. Uh, the other option is that you make a mark, as suggested, because I think you need about 19, 18, 19 centimetres on 70 centimetres. So it's going to be about that length, because this, this is about 15 centimetres. So you want to be out a bit. Uh, but you could just put a little saw mark, literally just to scratch it, because you will feel that as you pull it up. So, um, that's a sort of uh, three or four pound antenna, including the adapter, but I had the ad adapter for other purposes anyway. Uh, a three or four pound antenna that I think will outperform the Nagoya whips and uh, make it a much more efficient uh, and much more pleasurable radio to use. Obviously, it's not going to fit in your pocket as easily as using something like this, but um, it's something that you could certainly consider as a way of improving performance. I hope you find that useful. Um, this is uh, GM4SVM, just signing off for now. Thank you.